I was waiting on him to give me some money. I don't wonder why he's walking over here. But if y'all enjoyed Eternal Vision, yeah. Ray, come get their basket and pass it around. Y'all put enough money in there for them to fill that bus back up with that diesel fuel. It ain't cheap. Amen. Yeah. Let's, let's get them on back up the road. Don't forget, as soon as we get done with the concert here tonight, inside there's bathrooms for men and women. We're not that little bit of a church, though, even though the men's bathroom's about this big. But we are serving tater soup and beans and all kind of good food. Y'all stick around, grab you something to eat. Fellowship, just enjoy the night. Because that's what church is all about. It ain't this building. It's us. We are the church. Amen. Thank y'all so much for your donations. And will you do me one favor? Will you pray for this group while they're on the roof? Will you do that for me? Let's pray. Father God, we just come to you tonight, Lord, thanking you and praising you for giving these gentlemen the talent to do what they do. Lord, we just ask you to keep them safe while they're on the road. Lord, continue to bless them in mighty, mighty ways. Lord, we just ask you to put them under that spout where your glory comes out, Lord. And keep them ministering for your glory. Lord, let them continue to see people saved and come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Because, Lord, we don't want to see anybody go to hell. Amen. And we know you don't either. So, Father, help us to always remind people when we see them out and about, heaven won't be the same without you. Amen. Lord, we love you and we praise you tonight. God, continue to be with us throughout the rest of the night. And when we get done, Lord, I just pray that everybody will hang around a little while, fellowship, get to know one another a little better, and enjoy some food. And Lord, we ask you to bless that food and the nourishment of our bodies and our bodies to your service. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all want to hear some more? Yeah! Hang on a minute. First, I got a question. Where'd that little pretty fella right there get that prince looking guitar from? <laughs> tell, tell them a little bit about that guitar. You're talking to me? You're talking to me? I see no other pretty fella with that prince guitar. Are you talking to me? You must be talking to me. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Bobby. <laughs> Answer the man. Uh, well, uh... The truth about this guitar, I've always been a, a huge fan of, they're originally called the Cloud Guitars, there are only four of them made, and, and Prince was the one who made them famous, you're exactly right, but a luthier out of uh, uh, Minneapolis made one, there's one in the Smithsonian Museum, and, and I was, uh, this was years ago, uh, 2007 I believe it was, um, I was just trying to do more for the Lord, and, and he was um, studying different instruments and trying to improve and, and get better, and uh, of course all for the glory of God, and uh, in doing so, I came across Exodus 19 and 9, and God is speaking with Moses, and uh, he tells Moses he's going to uh, go with him in the form of this heavenly cloud, so that all that come in contact with him will believe that his message is true, because they'll see God through him, through this cloud falling around. And uh, it, that really spoke to my heart, that uh, in the mixture of, of finding this guitar, it was a, a, a rare numbered replica that was made years ago that I was able to get, called a cloud guitar. And I thought, just like God spoke with Moses there, I mean, was speaking through Moses, uh, people could see God through what Moses said and what Moses, uh, his actions there. Um, I wanted people to see God through me when I was playing. Anytime I was playing, I wanted God to get all the glory for it all the credit for him, uh, and let them know that our talent comes from him, and, and, and his word says that if we use it, he'll multiply. Uh, and so I was able to get a cloud guitar uh, and have it uh, customized uh, to my liking. It's got that Bible verse actually here on the back of the headstock here, Exodus 19.9. And so that's, uh, that's a story uh, of the heavenly cloud. And uh, a guitar pick company, uh, the largest pick company in, in, the, in the world, actually, Clayton USA, they're the picks with the eagle on it. They endorse uh, Slash and Brad Paisley and some really major artists. They saw some video footage of us playing on uh, YouTube, and it was a complete God hookup, but I was playing this guitar, and they uh, wanted to officially endorse us. 
is it's a uh, we're the first Southern gospel artist who's ever been officially endorsed uh, by Clayton USA, and and I uh, and I praise God for it. They sent us some uh, some amazing pics with their emblem on it, and on the back of it, uh, well, on the front of it, it's got my guitar uh, and my signature on it. And, uh, I just uh, God's good all the time, amen. amen. Um, and I'm going to go just a little bit further. If that's all right, brother. You asked me, so I was um, I was a little boy sitting in a Baptist church in Knoxville, Tennessee. And a local gospel singing group came in uh, and shared the Word of God through song, sang many old, old gospel songs um, that touched my heart. And the Holy Spirit started dealing with me as a young man through this gospel singing ministry. And I gave my heart and life to Christ that night. Um, and God used that gospel group to do that, uh, you know, to bring me to Him. It was all Him, but He did use them as a part of it. And I thank God that here 20-something years later, that that's our prayer. That's our exact prayer. That through these efforts, that God will use us, that someone who's down, someone who may be addicted to something that they shouldn't be, to someone who's going through something, will know that there's a better way. The way. The love of Jesus Christ. That we can build His kingdom. Or that He can build His kingdom through us. And I, I love Him and I appreciate Him. Thank you for asking me about that, buddy. Uh, you got to ask me about that every service. And I can push these pigs. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's the story of the guitar. And um, my name is Shannon Shelby, and I'm so thankful to be here. So thank you all so much. Uh, this is my dad. I told you that earlier, but I want to tell you a little bit more about him. He started this ministry in 1989. He's actually been singing. Uh, he's been singing gospel music for over 40 years. And in the in the 70s, in the 70s, when he was singing gospel music, do you see that creepy guy right there in the front of the bus here, <laughs> peeking out at us? He actually sang gospel music with him. That is my cousin, Alan. He's been driving the bus for us. And he is a man. I absolutely love him so much. Grew up with him all the time. He's taking me to school. Um, He's a lot we, older than I am. <laughs> we, we, do, we have a wonderful time. We really have a wonderful time together. But let me tell you this. I've been traveling and singing with this ministry for over 20, over 20 years. And this has rarely happened, but it happened today. We, we went to eat at a Mexican restaurant, okay? Uh -oh. And a couple of the members of the group, Kale and, and, and Alan, got up and Kale said, well, I'm going to go out here and lay down for an hour. He said, okay, that sounds good. Well, Alan followed him. We didn't think nothing about it. We paid the bill, went and got on the bus and left, coming over here to church. Well, Alan had decided to take a trip to the Family Dollar. And so Alan was still at the Family Dollar when we were over here at the church. So we left my poor cousin over there. <laughs> He said, wait till he stops in the next rest area and we go in. <laughs> uh, but I, I kind of got sidetracked, but they, but it, he'd been singing gospel music for over 40 years, and, and he started actually with a, with my cousin here, and I love him and appreciate him so much. His name is Alan Galloway, if you'll make him welcome real quick. <laughs> and this is my dad and the owner uh, of Eternal Vision. He, uh, he's under the direction of the Holy Spirit. He uh, is the one in charge of keeping this thing running. Uh, so y'all please pray for him. My dad, Mr. Mike Shelby. This gentleman right here has been with us now for uh, a little over four years. Well, close to four years. Uh, he first joined uh, to be behind the scenes just to help out. He's a wonderful diesel mechanic. Uh, and he sets up everything, tears down everything, and just uh, really does all the grunt work, to be honest. That he, he does all of it. You know. Grunt! 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 Me too! A little bit of whining, but a lot of grunting. But, uh, no. 